Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about Ultimate Team of the Season, what happened yesterday with the Usman Dembele, the Lanzini Objective, the Ultimate Tots team that is in packs, and where in the world is Neymar? How did Neymar not get included into Ultimate Team of the Season? I think it's crazy. I want to talk about why I think EA did this and why I think this sets the tone for this next week of FIFA and why I think it just means bigger things coming in the future after team of the season is over and also how again we have probably no secondary team coming out in packs this week just riding the ultimate tots through the second half of the week as the only thing that is in packs and also these cards are like almost unpackable we're going to take a look at some prices today because they did not get supplied that much on the market and they a lot of these cards barely dropped now some of them did for other reasons but honestly the biggest content of the day was not even the cards released back into packs the biggest content was this guy right here usman dembele five star five star high medium work rates left foot of course a pretty nice boost now not as good as his summer heat card from last year but this is a position with the right mid position in this game is not as good as the left side. There's always lacking options there. And the French nationality on that right side, like that's why Alessandrini has been so expensive. That's why Atal has been so sought after. And you saw all those types of cards and right mids, right wings across this game today dropping because of this SBC. Now, this SBC is not cheap. Coming in at 740, 730,000 coins to do, you might be wondering, man, are a lot of people actually doing this SBC? And in my opinion, yes, they are. But here's the thing, right? So many people opened 83 times 25 and 84 times 20 packs for Ultimate Team of the Season. And they already had a lot of fodder in their club, like Team of the Season cards. People have had Team of the Season cards in their unassigned as duplicates since Serie A. People have had cards in their own sign waiting to use them in some sort of SBC. And I think this SBC is a very... Very smart and calculated move by EA Sports to rinse a lot of fodder out of people's clubs um, by making it 700,000 coins, requiring an 89 rated squad as a part of the SBC, but making it a player that a lot of people would want to get. I'm sure he's cracked down in game, and you can tell, right? People are conflicted. The thumbs up and thumbs down, as we call it, hype check on Footbin. 3,200 thumbs up, right? Because people are like, yo, five star, five star. People love that in this game. It's Usman Dembele. He's cracked in FIFA as always. Unique body type. We know he's going to be very good in game. But also 3,900 down votes because I think people are, you know, maybe one of the higher rating boost on this Dembele. And they also probably think that the SBC is too expensive. But I th again, I think the main point to be said here is whether you think this card is good value or it's not, this is incredible timing by EA Sports because people have a lot of SBC fodder in their club. They put out a big name player that a lot of people want to see a boosted card of. And they make it a little bit expensive, but they juice the card up. And of course, they put it out in a time where a lot of people might need a French right mid to link in their team. So very smart by EA. I think a lot of people are doing that SBC. Again, it's a cool card. I have no issues with you doing it. All I'm saying is, you know, we're going to have more SBCs coming in the future in the next couple of weeks uh, that that fodder you have and using towards Usman could be used for. So that's my only, I guess, caution if you're thinking about doing his SBC. Um, and maybe he, be, he becomes craftable later on this week. We'll talk about that too. But the objective card was a Tots Moments Lanzini, of course, for his uh, stunning equalizer versus Spurs is what they're saying here. This card looks pretty good as well. He got the four-star, four-star upgrade. Pretty good looking card. I think he has the short and lean body type. Um, now, I'm not a gameplay guy, but to me, he's five foot six. He's short. Uh, he's probably pretty OP in game. He has like, you know, cracked out dribbling statistics. Pretty, pretty, pretty good looking card right there with some interesting links in the Premier League. Now let's talk about the ultimate tot squad, right? And where in the world is Neymar? So this is the squad that is back into packs. Um, I think they did a decent job here. I mean, there's some decent cards in here. We have all the big names we would expect, except for Neymar. Um, but again, the, the part of this that is a big L is the fact that there are only 15 players in this side, and it's not more than that. This was my worry, and I my worry came true with them only releasing 15 cards in the side. And I think that's kind of why Neymar was let out, really. I, I honestly think... That's why Neymar was let out because, again, if you're EA Sports, you have to put some cards in here that you're going to, like, allow people to pack and be more packable. Uh, you have a lower tier card in Cancelo, in Oblak, DeVry, and Kane, right? Those are your, kind of your, like, lowest tier cards that are in this team. Lukaku got in, which I was expecting. Bruno got in. Um, Bamba got in. I think Bamba is the one that we're the most interested in, right? Why in the world is Bamba in here ahead of Neymar? But regardless... 
Um, you know, we saw crazy price movements, not just on these cards that are in the team of the season ultimate side, but also just the entire rest of the market. And I want to talk about why that happened and how we hit some things straight on, spot on the head. And you had a lot of opportunity to make coins today on this market. Now, of course, right before 6 p.m., and I still have some cards here on my transfer list, or sorry, not transfer list, transfer targets, of cards that were getting panic sold pre-6 p.m., right? Bruno Fernandez was down to one. 0.83 million coins. This is the first thing I want to talk about in today's video is I talked about it last year with the Kevin De Bruyne 99 rated card. This Bruno had panic selling because people thought, hey, he might get that player of the year SBC today, which did not end up coming out. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit too. Um, and just all, obviously people were expecting him to be an ultimate team this season. So he went down into the low 1.8 range. Ultimate Tots comes out. He is in. His price goes back up to 2 million coins. Again, these cards, except for the lower tier ones, Kimmich, Cancelo, uh, Kane, a lot of the price drops that happened in the first half an hour on the lower tier cards were because of panic selling. They actually rebounded back up from where they were, and I will talk about that too. But the biggest movement was these cards. Frankie De Jong was almost a million coins early this morning. He rebounded all the way back up to 1.4 mil. Now, of course, this card was helped out by the Usman Dembele SBC that was released. Of course, you have some people trying to link De Jong and Usman Dembele together, but a huge rise there. Also, a huge rise in this Goretzka, right? 2.099 right before he was released back into packs, all the way up to 2.3 where he sits right now. Sancho had a big boom as well. He was like 2.4. Now, of course, Usman hurt his price a bit. He's still chilling around 2.5. Um, other cards that had this one was Neymar, right? Neymar was the biggest mover on the day, up a million coins after not being re-released into packs for ultimate team of the season, which people were shocked by. Uh, well, right now he's back under 10 mil just a bit, but he went literally, there were Neymars at 9 million coins flat when the team was released. He went instantly back up and got bought up. There was like one or two cards on the market and he, and he flew. So if any of you guys took advantage of those today, like, um, you know, some of the most overpowered cards did have major fluctuations like that. Now, this Chunmin Sun didn't move up too much. He's up like, you know, 30, 40K. Not a huge move. Um, but, of course, guys like that De Young was a huge mover. Neymar was a huge mover. Goretzka was a big one. And actually, Varane, too. Varane was like 2.1 million coins. And again, I was like sure that Varane was going to get in. So instead of Varane getting into ultimate tots, we have DeVry, Cancelo, and Teo Hernandez as our defenders, which is kind of crazy. But again, this Varane going from 2.1 mil to 2.4, a crazy rise on the stuff that did not get, get into ultimate team of the season. But even some of the stuff that did get in, right? You take a look at Tots Messi. Again, I mean... People were, were not buying these cards um, and they were holding off on buying them because they figured the supply was going to come in and the prices were going to drop, which they 100% did on some of the lower tier and low end cards. Like Lukaku was 1.1 mil yesterday and right now he is just over 900,000 coins. He's 918K. So cards like this definitely dropped off. Harry Kane was 350,000 coins. He is now a 200,000 coin card, right? A big drop off on the lower tier cards that had the higher pack weight, Cancelo, Oblak, those types of players. Um, but a lot of the higher tier ones, like again, Teo Hernandez is about back to the same price. Mbappe is above where he was. Ronaldo is still 6.4 mil. So will you see these prices drop off uh, as we head out of the weekend? Probably a little bit. But the reason why you're seeing these guys bounce back up, some of them even higher than they were before, is again, just because people had were waiting to buy until Ultimate Tots, they didn't see the prices move too much, so they just went out there and they bought some of them. Now, of course, with Usman Dembele coming out, a lot of your right mids took a huge, huge hit today on the market. Like this Salah card, I bought one at 665 and sold it just a little bit ago for a small profit back over 700. I sold a smidge early because he's back now at like 720, 730K, but... Tons of right mids were sold off today. The Foot Birthday Atal was a big name dropper today. He was like 470,000 coins. This guy was down to 350 at one point. Now, right now, he's back up to into the 360s, but there was tons of panic selling on Atal, on the Alessandrini, and there were opportunities to make coins on that. I have two Alessandrinis right now uh, that are on my transfer list that I bought right around the 260, 270,000 coin range, trying to see if I can get them out at 300K. Uh, because again, a lot of people are still using the French side, the French links, 
with the League One team of the season. So if I can get my uh, Sandrini's out here right around 300,000 coins, I'd be very, very happy with that. So again, we did not see that player of the year SBC. And I want to talk about for that, that for a quick second as well. I was expecting like the Kane, the Bruno, or whoever is going to win player of the year to be released. Now I had my dates actually mixed up. So the PFA announced the team of the year yesterday on Friday. The actual player of the year is going to be announced on Sunday the 6th. So I had my dates messed up there. That's on me. Um, I thought the SBC was going to be released yesterday, but the voting is closed for the EA Sports vote. So technically that SBC could come out whenever because I don't think that the EA award uh, is the exact same as the PFA because if it was, then there wouldn't be a voting. So I think the EA award could come out any day now for Bruno or for Harry Kane, depending on who is going to win that award for the EA vote. So just kind of wanted to clear that up. Um, and then also just talking about the um, SBC fodder situation as well as I relist my Alessandrinis because I do not want to forget to relist these. I'm going to relist just under 300K, take my money there. And go. I also bought two Loms at 200K, and he is like 220. So I'm gonna try to list these overnight and get some sales in the 220 range. That'd be very, very nice there. Um, icons moved a good amount today. Um, I bought this at 1.399, sold it at 153. I bought Kingsley Comans, one at 315 on a snipe, and one at 330. Those are pretty good profits as well. So again, you just saw your really rare cards drop down and then rebound back per usual on a promo Friday. Now let's talk fodder. Let's talk SPC fodder for a second. Since the Usman came out yesterday, a lot of your low tier fodder is still kind of low, right? But some of your higher tier stuff actually inched up a little bit since there was a good value SBC that a lot of people went out went out and wanted to try to finish, right? Let's say you could get it like three quarters of the way done or halfway done with fodder from your team or from the packs that you opened yesterday. Um, then, you know, you probably had to go out and buy some fodder to get it done. Now, I think that today on Saturday, if the content's very eh, then you might see some of this fodder dip back down again. You can see that in the overall grand scheme of things, 84s are still very, very low, right? I mean, we were down here at 201 points on the graph yesterday. Now, right now we're at 223. As you saw, 84s are just around 5,000 coins, which again, for me, is still very, very low. And I think that this fodder has only more room to go up during this next week and the week after that with whatever's coming with Euros content. So I still think that 84s, 85s, and 86s aren't bad buys. Maybe try to get in during lightning rounds today. Um, now that kind of brings us to Saturday today. What's going to be coming out for the content today on Saturday? And I want to talk about that for a bit too. Based off the lack of hype that is you know, evident through the actual squad that was released today, do I think we'll have another player SBC today? I honestly think that we will. If you think about the last few weeks, even during League One team of the season, we had SBCs back to back the first couple days. Like we had the OR day one and then day two. I kind of forget who we had. Oh, Joe Gomez. We had Joe Gomez because it was the Champions League final a week ago. So, I mean, that I do still think we'll get a player SBC today, but I don't know if we can base today and yesterday's content of Usman Dembele and whoever comes out today and say, okay, this is going to be an insane week of content. We're really going to have to wait to see what happens on Sunday to see how this week is going to go content wise. So that's kind of the one thing I want to say today. I know a lot of you guys want icons. I know a lot of you guys want more player SBCs. And this Usman Dembele is a great start, but we need to build upon that eSports, right? We need to build upon that. And again, with how not hype I think this team is, um, you know, DeVry being in here instead of Varane is, is, is an L, right? And again, these cards are like incredibly, incredibly hard to pack. Now, I don't know if you, any of you guys opened your 82 times, or sorry, your 84 times 20 packs yesterday. I opened mine. I got very lucky. I packed a duplicate Teo Hernandez and a Bamba, but I saw so many people yesterday opening packs and getting no blues. And if they were getting any blues, it was like the secondary team the rest of the world uh or they were packing mls blues and that you know that is not what you're wanting to see during ultimate team of the season so i mean this team in my opinion is like it's like a six out of ten to be completely honest i mean maybe even a five out of ten because the cars that we expected to get in got in and they're missing some too so i think that's a bummer 100 percent um i am glad that i was able to pack a bomba that was pretty sweet but um, of, course, of course, the Neymar not being in is, is just the biggest issue, right? That's the biggest issue. Why in the world is Neymar not in? He should be in. I mean, he's the most expensive Tots card by far, right? Behind um, behind Neymar's team of the season, the next most expensive guy is Cristiano Ronaldo, and he's at 6 million coins, and that Neymar is at 10 mil. So 
I, I do think that EA kind of maybe messed up a little bit right there. Um, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. We'll see what happens throughout the rest of this weekend, right? Today on Saturday is a big day of content in terms of what's going to happen with SBCs. Um, more lightning rounds, of course, probably more supply from these ultimate tots cards in the game. I do think you'll see the market dip off a little bit, but maybe not a ton, right? I mean, it just depends on what people are thinking in terms of, hey, I bought De Young to link with my Usman Dembele. Is there really a reason for me to sell cards this week? Um, maybe people will be expecting a lot of upgrade packs for ultimate team of the season. I'm not going to get my hopes up. And again, just seeing the pack weight today does not make me have any sort of inclination that I want to really go out and grind upgrade packs or that I'm really hoping or you know even expecting that EA is going to drop some sort of hype upgrade pack out in this game. Now, this Lewandowski is kind of getting low. A 1 million coin open bid and a 1.2 star price. Interesting. Now, this guy's getting kind of low. But again, some of your right mids that are very rare, like this Gadincha was down to 450. Looks like he's back up to 490. A little bit of a rebound there. Uh, the mid Gadin show as well, I was taking a look at. This guy was 700K and he was down in like the 560, 570 range. He's still pretty low. So, you know, I would watch your right mids. Um, how long is the Usman Dembele SBC out for? Because that would affect that a little bit. Uh, it is out for six days. So it's out for this whole entire week. Uh, but I do think he will see some of your right mids bounce back as we head throughout the week as this Usman SBC um you know, maybe lose a bit of steam if people aren't crafting this week or whatever. So yeah, man, I think again, ultimate team of the season, just like last year is a bit underwhelming. Now, again, it's really going to depend since the team is not that hype. It's really going to depend on the SBC content that they bring this week inside of FIFA. It needs to be good. It needs to be quality, good value, and it needs to be plentiful, right? I think all of us have fodder in the club. We're looking to do SBCs. We're looking to have fun and at least give us a chance esports right give us a chance give us an 85 times 5 give us an 83 times 10 that kind of stuff this week we would have fun with we would want to see again SBCs at this time of the year control the game so that in my opinion is what we need to see this week as long as I, as well as icon SBCs man we need to see some of those so again today on Saturday I'm expecting some sort of other player SBC and we got a sale who was it it was Vieira. Boom. I just bought that when I loaded up this, uh, this video for 800k flat. So I'll take my small profit and we move. But anyways, boys, I hope you had a good Saturday or hope you had a good Friday. My weekend league started off with two W's and a loss. So I'm two and one. King Cantona is fantastic. He doesn't have the stats to prove it yet, but he's really, really good. And uh, it's fun playing with those new cards that we have crafted through the upgrade SBCs this last week. So that's the video for today, boys. Have a happy Saturday. Good luck with your champs games. And of course, good luck if you're grinding any sort of packs or if you're you know, making investments on fodder or just trading in general. Good luck to all. I hope it's a good Saturday and I hope we get some good content from EA Sports. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.